Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have Matrix ROM. This is by far one of the best ROM I have tried in recent times. It works really really well. So as you can see here, it is based on Android 15 and the version we are using here is 11.1.0. Xeom official and this is a GX build. So the setting layout as you can see here, I did change the setting layout. You can change according to your liking. You can go to Matrix setting and user interface. There are a lot of options actually and you can change up to your liking so in terms of customization there are a lot of things available and you can do a lot of things here in terms of other features if you go to miscellaneous section there are a few options like game space is available google play integrity spoof is available so bank application works well unlimited photos storage for google photos available so there is also a sidebar option many people asking me about sidebar option so this rom got sidebar option and we can select application as your liking so i did select few application here and it is a little bit tricky to activate sidebar you have to swipe a little here actually because whenever i try it always goes back so a little swipe actually works like here but it's a little tough to access the sidebar but it will be usable if you use uh, on screen navigation buttons that time it will be very much usable there are also a few other options as you can see here most of the roms got those featured in terms of network internet and mobile data everything is working perfectly fine i haven't faced any issue regarding those things they worked really well bo lt bo wi-fi both works in display setting adaptive brightness works dark theme is available night mode and all the typical settings are available double tap to sleep double tap to work all those things are available and sidebar is unavailed now in the battery section the battery is doing pretty well i haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that it doesn't charge faster like it always kept at 10 watt it can't do fast charging that is one downside of these roms nowadays but beside that most of the features are available in terms of wallpaper and style change wallpaper so we don't really have any kind of ai and emoji wallpaper here on device wallpaper there are few of them and they are pretty nice and there are few other options here if you want you can try them and more option here more lock screen option so privacy and few other things the rom is a little bit slow in ui sometime i have seen that most of the things actually it is doing pretty well as you can see here it is slowing down most of the time here and there and as you can see here sometimes if i swipe it doesn't register that and in terms of security and privacy both fingerprint and face unlock works perfectly fine i did try them let me try so it works not the fastest i have ever tried but it still works really well and face unlock also pretty much similar slower side but works overall ui as you can see here there is nothing much going on there are a few other settings in gesture settings like gestures you can tap to start action like we can take a screenshot by using quick tap like double tap to take a screenshot so that is available so quick tap direct tap, as you can see here so if i go back as you can see it will take a screenshot so screenshot is taken and also a few other options are available here double tap to check the phone notification those things are available if you want them and navigation mode you can select what kind of navigation mode you want so those things are available there is a little indicator here to show the sidebar so you can swipe here it is here actually it is accessible so it is really difficult to see the sidebar when you are using light mode like if i if i swipe from here as you can see here most of the time i cannot detect it actually but in dark mode it will be pretty much usable i think or if you are using the on screen navigation button so beside that there is nothing new uh the ui as you can see here it works really well actually sometimes you will see lag here and there these are actually pretty much you will get with any other roms so minor issues you will find here and there in terms of application as you can see here i did install few application here and the rom did come with a MIUI camera this is updated version of MIUI camera which works really well and as you can see here you can it is slow outside actually so as you can see i can take picture but pretty slow and you can see the sidebar dash here actually pretty well now in dark mode you can use that and also if you click here it will show all the application as you can see you can access all of them 
so that is a pretty cool feature i did install a gcam here so the problem with gcam sometime when i take picture it does take picture but it doesn't save the picture so sometime if i take now it is taking but if you take picture very fast it will save only one of them or two of them and others you will not find so right now i did take three of them three of the picture are here and you can see them but sometime when you are taking picture it will not save the pictures maybe you can use different version of gcam here to eliminate that issue beside that we are getting few other application here like dolby atmos available and if i check play store if we check google play protect certification that is available so you can use bank application and all the application will definitely going to work as you can see here device is certified and if we check google photos google photos got unlimited storage so unlimited and also the magic editor is working perfectly fine so if i try right now so this one is sony xperia xz2 let's try editor here let's try magic editor and we can select and it is selected automatically now we can reimagine or erase so let's try erase button let's see what it's going to generate so as you can see here pretty good actually so works really well as you can see although my hand doesn't look like this and if we try reimagine maybe we can write something else like iphone 6s or something like that okay So as you can see here, although I did write iPhone 6s, but it did come with few pictures, but none of them actually the correct one as my command. So as you can see, but works. It's pretty decent actually, pretty good. So that is a Bible if you are looking for that. And few other things like, so in terms of calling, both Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi works perfectly fine as you can see here. I did try that and you can use background call recording option to record the calling. So I did record that actually as you can see here recordings. So as you can see here and it doesn't actually announce that you are recording call. So that is pretty cool and working perfectly fine. No issue with that. Other feature like you are getting circle to search that is a Bible. So as you can see here it's working perfectly fine. No issue with that. And one surprising thing of this ROM is that the gaming performance is really really good. I did play Call of Duty here medium to medium setting. By far one of the best Android 15 based ROM to play games. So if you are looking for a gaming ROM for your Redmi Note 8 which is based on Android 15, I think this is by far one of the best one. And it was bliss actually playing games on this ROM. So pretty good. And the performance as I said, it hiccups here and there. Everything seems to be working perfectly fine. No issue with that. Obviously, there will be some issues here and there. That's all. And the ROM link will be in the description below. If you want to try this ROM, try this ROM. And it is really good ROM actually. And thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.